I'm Dr. Patricia Nyimba, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Director of Leader and Community Development at Building Hope in the City. I feel like Building Hope is a practitioner because we're boots on the ground in some of the hard places, but then we're also kind of like a trainer, thought leader, risk taker for the body of Christ. So our practice or our work or our concentration is in the Stockyards Clark Fulton neighborhood. So what that looked like initially, and I would say this is good for anybody, was presence, being here. <laughs> and not only just physically there, like our address is not only here, we're here. And I think the Lord is constantly impressing upon me, you know, for our heart to be here. The impact of building hope in the city has been transformational. They have organized, they have engaged, they have built trust, and they have stayed committed to our neighborhood. And residents now respect them and are committed to this organization. And I am looking forward to just years down the line, us working together. As we've lived into a practice of presence, it looks like serving youth and families right now in our education enrichment program to be able to instill a love of learning in them to help move the needle in any way in their reading, uh, things like that. So that's education enrichment. And then we also have, what you see right here, Hope Grows Urban Ag. And this was an initiative, Hope Grows is something Again, first having presence, we didn't have that written out what we would do here. But it became a natural fit as we saw a lot of the residents and things placed a value in urban ag, gardens, things like that. You're gonna see a lot of urban gardens in this community. And so that looks like sharing the produce, learning about getting our own hands dirty, right? Uh, also a big piece that we think is a game changer for individuals, right, is housing. Uh, being able to kind of come into the mix of right now you're seeing a lot of uh, high price housing being developed in Cleveland. What does it look like to develop nice, dignifying housing at a rate that people can afford and then walking alongside them relationally? And one of the big ways we kind of animate that resident engagement and leadership is through our Rally CLE. And so that's where we walk alongside a vision of a resident who is here. And we just say, hey, you're the leader. Lead us into what you aspire to do in your community. And we get to involve the broader uh, church community and donors and sponsors and funding projects that residents want to do. This was from Rally with Building Hope in the City. And that was one of the canvases that we did um, last September and that was another one which I added flowers to it because I like flowers. It's one thing to be on, on the outside looking in and come down once a month or a year and it's a whole nother thing when you're living in the middle of it and these people live in the middle of it. Ebony lives in the middle of it, Rhonda lives in the middle of it, all of them live in the middle of it and that is a huge, I think that makes a huge difference. Getting to know like the people that don't understand how it is down here, it was learning experience for them. The assets abound if we put those lenses on and then look at, okay, with the things that God has given us to steward, sometimes various skills, networks, finances, thanks to like our partners and donors, how do we take those things and connect them with the existing assets? versus coming in feeling like we're bringing everything there is to bring. And our, our great friend who came to visit us, Jonathan Brooks, talked about putting on those bi bifocals where we're not gonna pretend that there is not crime here. We're not gonna pretend that there isn't low rates and all the statistics that make us sad. But we, we need to also see the beauty. So we need to see what we call the beauty and the brokenness and find out where do we get in in that mix.